In this video, we're going to be taking a look at different ways of specifying vectors and their directions. Uh, we're using the FET simulation vector addition in the Explore 2D um, scenario. And uh, I'd invite you to play with this and figure out exactly how uh, it works, and you can kind of try different things on your own. But let's go through the various ways that we can specify vectors. The first thing that we'll go through is the polar positive negative specification, because that's what this uh, simulation is running on. If we uh, take a coordinate plane like we have right here, we can spe uh, se separate it into different quadrants. This is quadrant 1, this is quadrant 2, this is quadrant 3, and this is quadrant 4. And what the polar positive negative specification says is that if we have a vector that is in uh, quadrants 1 or 2, we're going to measure counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. So we see that in this uh, simulation right here. If I take a look at the value of theta here or down here, uh, and I move this vector, we see that this, this vector is going to remain positive, and it just keeps on going in the positive direction all the way up to 180 degrees. Once we pass 180 degrees, we are in quadrant uh, 3, and now the angle is measured clockwise from the positive x-axis. And we'll see that as we go along here, too. So keeping to move that along right here, we see that that angle is now negative 42 degrees, and it's measured clockwise, and the angle is negative. Now, if we take a look at uh, a different way of uh, specifying vectors, there's another way that we can do it, and that's the polar positive way. So in, with the polar positive way, what we do is we take the vector, and we always measure from the positive x-axis, and we always measure counterclockwise. So this simulation won't do it uh, because it's using that other uh, specification, but if using the polar positive way, if I take a look at the simulation, I take this vector and I move it, it would continue to go here, it continued to be positive, and if I went all the way over here, instead of being negative 90 degrees, this would be 270 degrees because it's 270 degrees from that positive x-axis. So that is the polar positive direction uh, and how we specify that. All angles are positive and they're all measured uh, counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. The final way that we can uh, specify vectors is using the navigator method. So if I erase this again, the navigator method is something that kind of confuses a lot of students, but uh, I'll try to explain it in a way that makes sense to you. So let's say we have this uh, vector right here. We know that from uh, our, our Cartesian directions, or our navigational, sorry, directions, we have north, east, south, and west. And west. And if I want to specify this vector, I can say this, this vector is 35.5 degrees north of east. So what I'm doing there is I'm taking, okay, we've got a vector, this is the east direction, and this vector up here, the blue one, is 35.5 uh, degrees north of the east direction. So that's why I write this as north of east. Now I could do it a bunch of different ways. I could also say that this uh, vector if I specified it a different way, I have to figure out what that angle is. 90 degrees minus 35.5. We know that this angle right here is 54.5 degrees. I could also say that the vector is 54.5 degrees east of north. This is the same way of specifying the same vector. But in this case, I'm measuring east of this north direction. So I'm looking north, I'm measuring east, so it's east of north. This other way, it's north of east. So that's the various ways that you can specify different vectors. If you have any questions, you can contact me in private discussions.